Hello and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am Fatima Siriki for the news headline. Tinubu advocates consensus on funds spent by finance institutions in Africa. Federal government, UN move to address humanitarian crisis. Federal government unveils patient policy to prevent medical errors, others. NPCL others exit of management staff with 15 months to retirement. IPADEC donates block of classrooms, others to Quara community. CJN charges judges to protect national laws amidst digital era complexities. Nigeria needs 20,000 schools to absorb out of school children, UBEC says. 40,000 people on antiretroviral drugs in Kaduna, Naka reviews. Sports Minister Hills Amosa Brume on Diamond League success. Now, the news in details. President Bola Tinubu has said Africa must have a consensus view that the hundreds of billions of dollars spent through international development finance institutions over the years must meet the specific needs of developing democracies in Africa, even if it is done with exclusive regard for their own enlightened self interest. He stated this on Monday during an extensive bilateral discussion with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa in New York City. The federal government and the United Nations are finding lasting solutions to Nigeria's humanitarian crisis. Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Beta Edu, said the global organization had expressed satisfaction with government's willingness to adopt a coordinated approach to the challenge. The minister submitted that operating in silos will not yield the desired results. The federal government on Monday said it has developed the national policy and implementation strategy on patient safety and healthcare quality to improve the safety of all medical procedures and enhance the quality of healthcare delivery. The permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Health, Kacholom Daju, said empowering patients to become integral members of their healthcare teams is a crucial avenue to significantly enhance the safety of their care and the healthcare system as a whole. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has compulsorily retired all management staff with less than 15 months to statutory retirement. In an early Tuesday morning announcement, the company declared that the retirement of the affected workers was with immediate effect, stressing that the move would support its business objectives. As part of efforts to ensure human civilization and development, the Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission on Monday donated blocks of three classrooms, offices, and learning materials to government secondary school Jeba, more local government area of Kwara State. The area officer of IPADEC, Engineer Ali Utemim said, education is a critical priority for Nigeria as it is for any nation serious about growth and development. He noted that the project was aimed to head the learning activities of the student, stressing that the environment in which students learn and study has an impact on their productivity. He ordered the school management to make judicious use of the facilities and other learning materials donated. Oba of Jeba, Oba Abdekadri Adebara, ably represented by Prince Ibrahim Adebara, commended IPADEC for its commitment towards educational development in the community. He added that the remarkable gesture would contribute towards the growth and development of students. He equally urged the community to prioritize the school so as to achieve its purpose. Speaking on the benefits of the newly constructed classrooms, the principal of government secondary school, Jeba, Pastor Adejuma Ayodele, maintained that the new blocks of classroom will create conducive environments where students can learn 
and also develop knowledge that will help enhance their education pursuits. She assured the commission of maximum usage of the education equipment and facilities. Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, has called on judges to protect Nigeria's law in the face of the complexities the digital era has brought on the administration of justice. The CJN said the judiciary was obliged to embrace the transformation occasioned by information communication technology while ensuring that doing justice remains at the forefront of its efforts. The Universal Basic Education Commission has revealed that Nigeria needs an additional 20,000 schools and 907,769 classrooms to be able to absorb the growing number of out-of-school children in the country. UBEC Executive Secretary Dr. Amit Bobo identified infrastructural gaps and inadequate manpower are some of the challenges facing the Commission and its efforts towards ensuring equitable access to quality basic education. The Director General of the National Center for the Control of AIDS, Dr. Gambo Aliyu, has disclosed that over 40,000 people are on antiretroviral drugs for the control of HIV in Kaduna State. The DG will raise the alarm that the donors will stop providing drugs for the vulnerable group in two years, urge the government and other key stakeholders to begin strategies on a way forward after the donors leave to continue to ensure communities are HIV-free. The last on the news is sports. Minister of Sport Development, Senator John Owan Heno, has congratulated Toby Amusa and Ese Brume for their outstanding performance at the 2023 Diamond League, Diamond League in Oregon, U.S. He stated that the victory was a beautiful way for Amusa to wind down on athletic season. The minister also aided Nigerian long jumper Ese Brume for our silver medal achievements in the long jump event at the competition. to the end of the news here's the recap of the story tinubu advocate consensus on funds spent by finance institutions in africa federal government un move to address humanitarian crises federal government unveils patient policy to prevent medical errors others nnpcl orders exit of management staff with 15 months to retirement IPADEC donates block of classrooms, others to Quara community. CJN charges judges to protect national laws amidst digital era complexities. Nigeria needs 20,000 schools to absorb out of school children, UBEC says. 40,000 people on antiretroviral drugs in Kaduna, Naka reviews. Sports Minister Hayes Amusa Brume on Diamond League success. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News at 9. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. For more news, visit www.justeventsonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a type of Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on justeventsonline at gmail.com. I am Fatima Siddiqui. Good night.